Jesus said, when the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asked me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. Because they do not believe in me. About righteousness. Because I am going to the Father, and you will see me no longer. About judgment. Because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear to hear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears. He will declare to you those things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father is mine has his mind. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Here ends our gospel for today. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. Dear friends, how many of you, when you were little boys and girls, read comic books? Raise your right for a while. Just be some of the guys that little girls did. Any girls? One, 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 one girl taker there? You're uh, outstanding in the corner there. You know? Not too many girls like that, but I can remember experimenting expressions that would fill the whole panel of the cartoon. And one of my favorite ones was Wowzers. What does that mean? That means something really exciting. Pentecost, to me, is one of our few Sundays during the church year, which is a guaranteed wowzer. You like my outfit? Huh? <laughs> look, at, look at the cramps all decked out in this little red outfit, and we have one red over here. I'm going to start to instruct us as to what color to wear. Can we do little flags? Red. That's what I was just, that's what that is. That was quite a reading, by the way, which I thought our lecturer did today. She did a wonderful job of getting through Cappadocia and Pamphylia and Phrygia. Phrygia, and by the way, I really do think it is Cretans. <laughs> which doesn't sound like a good bunch of folk. They were all together. It says in one place. We'll come back to that. So here we are in this one place. I assume a building with some religious connotation, but we'd have to read into it to say that, to say absolutely that. They were in one place. And suddenly there was like a wind going through, and then tongues and fire as if to touch each of the men and women. There worship were suddenly filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow, that's some. They were excited. Now, let's go back to that. They were all in one place. What would you surmise? Why were they all in one place? Can I tell you? You got it. They were scared. They were all in one place. They were all the high in the rooms. Maybe it's a bigger space than that. It was a whole bunch of people. They were 
frightened of the authorities. Hey, folks, if you had seen Jesus last 39 times, he should have been dead then. If you had seen the life drifting slowly out of him on the cross until he suffocated, then when you meet together with your friends, you're not sure what you want to see or be seen. They were scared to death. They had everything now. Christ had said in Matthew, not John, at the end of John, he said, go out and preach, teach, baptizing in my name around the world. You've had instructions. You've heard me preach. You've seen what I have taught the miracles which are true to me. you witnessed Take 
actually rather soft-spoken in wisdom. One man got this power from Almighty God. Today, these people on Pentecost Sunday were waiting for guidance, and it appears, and now suddenly what? They can preach, teach, and baptize because they feel the power. Savior and our Lord. 